Drivers at the Kumasi Boko bus terminal say they have suspended their services in protest of a dawn attack on one of the buses belonging to the station at Waliwali in the northeast region. The drivers say such attacks continue to threaten their livelihood and many lives in, in fear, or many are living in fear when transporting passengers to Boko and other parts of the country. City News is Ashanti Regional Correspondent Hafiz Tijani has more. The Ghana Police Service, in a statement, says it has launched a manhunt for persons who shot into a Kumasi Boku bound bus at Waliwali in the northeast region on Friday dawn. The bus was subsequently set ablaze when it was taken to the police station at Waliwali, while the police statement confirmed one person has died and several others injured. The incident has brought panic among the drivers at the Swami bus terminal where they transport passengers to Boko and other areas of the north. The leadership of the bus terminal says it is shocked following the incident. One of the chairmen at the bus terminal, Anasara George Akolgo, says the incident has left drivers devastated. Most of the drivers, they are panicked. Because if they are shooting, yesterday they shoot so many buses. Even one Bolga bus or a bus, if they even shot it. Because they heard that some, some Kusasi guys are there going home to Boku. So they are, track, they are now going around to station to station, tracking the buses. Tracking people that are to board those buses. And then give information that this person is in this bus. So you people should uh, block the, attack the bus on the way and kill him. Is that possible? I'm in my own country, and I can't live comfortably. And I want to know whether Boku is part of Ghana or Boku is a Burkina Faso or Togo. We will start from today up to Monday. We want to hear good news from the government and the RGP. So if they didn't, we didn't hear any good news, then we break loading, or then we also block from the Red Volta. No car should also cross to Boku territory. Whether it's a trailer, any truck at all, a weather bus, trailer, any passenger car, we will also block from the, the, the Red Volta. The attack is believed to be in connection with the ongoing chieftaincy-related conflict within the enclave. The drivers want the government to find a lasting solution to this matter. What is happening in Wale Wale, we want to ask the government and the RGP, is it that Boku we are fighting or we are fighting in Wale Wale? And why is it that any time there's a problem in Boku, the Wale Wale people will uh, start misbehaving with our people? And what kind of intimidation are they doing to weep those people from the Boku? Because of that, we have suspended the buses loading in Kumasi from Kumasi to Boku. We have suspended until further notice. We want the government and the RGP to step in and solve it amicably for us because what is happening currently is an intimidation. Already, Asantehini Otunfo said to the second has intervened to resolve the long standing chieftaincy issue in Boko. And the driver's CSA continuous attacks on their buses threatens their lives and livelihood and they want the government and the security agencies to put measures in place to resolve this issue. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Swami, Ashanti Region.